you been? Oh, sorry I'm late, guys. I just, uh, I heard some toilet noises coming from a cave, and I just, I just went into the cave because you got to investigate why is there a toilet in a cave, and then turned out there was a bear in the cave, and I got attacked by the bear. Wait, did you say bear? Yeah. Where? Oh, it's over there. It's over there. Oh, I want to hug a bear. There's no bear. No, no, don't go to the bear. No. Come here, bear. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Virtual Sports Camp. I'm Erica. I'm Caleb. I'm also Caleb. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi. We have some fantastic things coming up for you guys in this Virtual Sports Camp. We're going to be having a versus tournament. We're going to be having some awesome skits with the beach bums. We're going to be having some safety tips. And there's going to be a special message from your pastor. Also, we're going to have some video of the week. There's a lot of fun activities we're going to be doing throughout this entire week. Right. And each day we're going to have a focus word, a theme word for the day. And today our word is discipline. Discipline. So, discipline. Discipline rhymes with repetition. Right. No, it doesn't. It's well, it's basically the same it's thing. It's a synonym. It doesn't rhyme. It's different. If you do it over and over again, you have to have discipline. Discipline. Okay. Well, discipline is our word of the day. Let's open a prayer. Yeah. God, we thank you that we can get together and have crazy fun from our own living rooms, Father God. Even though we can't have camp, camp this summer, we're going to have a blast this week enjoying and learning together. Lord, bless our time together. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name, amen. 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 All righty. It is time for us to go to worship because we want to start things off right. So everyone stand up in your living room. Let's get ready for worship.
Absolutely. I feel so today, safe right now. Well, speaking of safety in sports, you need to learn how to be safe. So check out today's safety tip. Yep. Hey. Hello, and welcome to your daily safety tip. Today we're talking about discipline. What is discipline? You might ask. Well, since I love my grandma, study this so that you can become an expert. Mmm, that was informative. And now we go outside so our coach can teach us a sporting tip. Welcome to Sports with Coach Champ Wilson. Sports with Coach Champ Wilson. Sports. All right, I'm Coach Champ Wilson, and this is your safety tip all about discipline. discipline. Now, discipline you need in all sports, like in soccer, discipline to like be able to like juggle the juggle the juggle the, juggle juggle the ball, ball and you know you know and sports explode up explode up. Thank you, Coach. Question: What topical ointment do you use while applying discipline? The only way to find out is by looking at a bad example. This guy learned this lesson the hard way. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's safety tip. Oh, and don't forget, really important is ever. Erica, I don't know how much that actually taught us about being safe no, or about I was discipline. Confused. Hey, you know, speaking of discipline, you know who this looks like. Who? Chud. Chud? Oh, one of the beach bums. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Let's check in with the beach bums for our daily update. Oh. Do you guys like to smell something? I like to. You know what I smell? I smell boredom. It's like super boring out here. And the wind and the waves and, and like the trees. It's just super boring. Who's bored right now? You know the best way to fight boredom is to look around you and just eat whatever it is that's in front of you. Like this dirt right here. If you eat dirt, You'll totally not even be bored anymore. He's just eating the dirt it's like over helping. there. Because eating dirt takes a lot Will of discipline. Will you make a fun pie for dessert? This dirt is like helping me not be bored. It also takes a lot of discipline. He's just Never. eating the dirt. Whoa! That's like a good song, Chumberlain. Hey, Chumberly, like, where did Dolphin Boy go? I hope he's not getting himself into some kind of trouble. Let's sing a song about dirt while I eat dirt again. Eat the dirt out of his Whoa! Hey, Chumberly, Dolphin Boy's doing something incredibly dangerous right now because he has, like, no discipline. I like have an idea. Raise your hands if you can't wait to see what happens next. Check in tomorrow for some more of the beach bumps. But first, we got to get a Coach Champs versus tournament. That's where we're going to be uh, playing one on one at wow. different sports. See who wins. We're gonna be competing against each other. Yeah. I'm so gonna win. Will there be a trophy? No, I don't think we no, got a. I don't think we got a trophy. No. There has to be a trophy. No. That, no. It's just for pride and for winning. What? What? Yep. That works. What are you doing? That works. What are you doing? Caleb knows what I'm talking about. Brad Lyeth knows what we're talking about. We're out here 
you're at the game pool and it's time to get this competition. Right, started. and then if you're next to the pool, you must be that, safe. That's not, that's not part of the game. Our first game is soccer, and the first of three points is gonna win. The loser moves on for the discipline round. Ready? All right, the first game we're playing is football. All right. Here, so, these are the plungers. Oh, oh, that point of order, that actually went in. One point for Caleb. This Caleb. Don't. <laughs> He's rolling that way. Don't. One point for Erica. Couldn't do anything about that one. All right, ready? Here we go. First and three point wins. Oh, that's two points for Caleb. All right, one more, and I don't have to face the punishment. Alright. It's discipline, Caleb. Dis discipline. Come on, Erica. Ah. Off the table. One point for Erica. No, that's not the game that went before. <laughs> oh, okay. I just want oh. I just want you to have to face the wheel All of right. punishment. I mean just the table. No! No! Alrighty. Alright, All right, I'm safe. Erica's on the hot seat. Next up is Sean and Caleb. Hello, Caleb. Alright, first strike, who's it first strike who's going in? Oh! Oh! Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Discipline. Discipline. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's called thread in the needle. Thread in the needle. Oh, that was almost a three point. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. The slowest <laughs> shot ever. Yeah! Alright, two to one. Two to one. Ready? I'm just kidding. Is that loud? That's the way. You know what? Yeah. That calls for No, a, nothing. Let's play. That calls for a discipline which is going in the pool. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, it is now the discipline round between Sean and Erica, and the loser has to pull from the bag of discipline. All right, so one more round. Oh, okay. oh. yeah! One, one to zero. Oh. Yeah! Thread the needle. One to one. Yeah! Oh. I don't want to face a punishment. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Go. Go. Two, one, go. It's going nowhere. Yeah! <laughs> All right, it is time to pull from the bag of discipline. Sean, what do you have to do? <laughs> one last thing we want to do. for the first one ball, and I just stack the deck. Yeah. Mousetrap! Mousetrap, all right. For this one, Pastor Sean is gonna have to have some mouse traps down and stick his arm in it. Uh, you okay over there? It hurts! I feel like it's a mouse trap. I have a question! What does any of this have to do with discipline? That is a good question. Well, actually, today we're going to learn about discipline from your children's pastor. They're going to share with you the story of David of the Bible. Let's go to them now. Hey kids, happy Monday. It's Miss Sana here. So you're probably wondering, why are you running with Sana? No, I'm not running for fun. I'm not really running for exercising, although I should be exercising. It's good for your body. Anyways, I'm actually getting ready for a 5K marathon coming up later this month. Well, today is my first day out. I didn't really think I should do anything for it because it's just running, right? Well, even though I haven't been running for three months, you know, because of the whole quarantine thing, remember? I had to make sure all my snacks were going to expire. Someone has to eat them all. Anywho, let me get my breath. 
My friend told me I had to start practicing in order to do well in the race. But here I am trying to run every day to get ready for it. But to be honest, I really didn't want to do it. But I think she's right. If I want to do good in this marathon, I have to practice and get ready. Whew. I'll see you in a little bit. Let me just look for some water. You know, a lot of things in life requires us to have important practices. God tells us that it's really what's inside that counts in order for us to see victory. We can't just look cool. We have to have a good heart and the right mindset. And one of the practices we're going to be talking about today is called discipline. Discipline is training in control and order. It's having quality of self-control and the ability to do what you set your mind and heart to. You know what, kids? The Bible talks a lot about it. And you know what? We get to hear this amazing story of a young boy who was known for his discipline. So let's check out our Bible story. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1 through 13, this is a story about finding the next king in Israel. The king before wasn't a good king. The people wanted someone strong and wise, but they didn't listen to God and what God wanted. Instead, Israel's king was Saul. Saul didn't make good choices, and he was actually kind of selfish. So it was time for a new king. Let's hear the story. Saul was the king of Israel, but he disobeyed God. So God chose a new king for Israel, a better king. God sent Samuel to Bethlehem to visit a man named Jesse. One of Jesse's sons would be Israel's next king. Jesse had eight sons. Jesse's oldest son was tall and handsome. When Samuel saw him, he thought, this must be the one God chose to be king. But God told Samuel, he's not the one. Do not pay attention to what he looks like. You look at what you can see on the outside, but I see the heart. One by one, Jesse's sons approached Samuel, but God had not chosen them either. Mm. Do you have any more sons? Samuel asked. Yes, Jesse said. My youngest son, David, is in the field taking care of the sheep. Jesse sent for David. When David arrived, God told Samuel, he's the one. <laughs> Samuel anointed David. He poured oil on David's head to show God had chosen him to be the king. The spirit of the Lord was with David and Samuel went back home. Isn't that crazy? God sent Samuel to find and anoint or bless the next king. It looked like there were some pretty obvious good choices, right? But it wasn't the outside appearance that God was searching for. God wanted someone who had discipline. So sometimes things on the outside can look really cool. And you know, it looks good and it looks awesome and you think it's gonna be great, but it doesn't seem that way. Kind of like this box of chocolate, right? I love chocolate. Ms. Sandra loves chocolate. You guys all know I love chocolate. And look, I get this chocolate box and I'm super excited. It looks delicious from the outside, but when I open it, right? When I open it, look at all of that. What is this? This is disgusting. I, I don't want to eat potatoes and butter and cracked eggs and coffee bits. Sometimes when we see what's inside, it's not quite what's really on the outside. You see, Jesse called for his youngest son, who was at the moment in the fields. And I'm pretty sure David had to practice some really good discipline to wake up each day and help out in the fields. Which means he took it really serious. But even though outward appearance didn't scream strong, God was looking for someone with a strong heart instead. Because being king was not going to be easy. I'm pretty sure God didn't just look at David once and there you go. 
God had to see David's heart and discipline day in and day out for God to see his hard work and dedication. David was someone who repeated his practices of discipline and hard work each day. So our memory verse for the whole entire week is this, found in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Let's say it one more time. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Hey kids, how many of you guys love playing basketball? Basketball is a tough sport. You really need to practice every day to get better at it. And you know what that saying is, practice makes perfect. People who play basketball must work really hard to play a lot of games and make sure those shots get in the basket. So how many of you guys heard of Kobe Bryant? He was known as one of the best players in the world. Here's a quick story of Kobe Bryant and how he disciplined himself in basketball. Kobe Bryant was known for working hard. Even in high school, his coach once found him shooting in a dark gym two hours before practice even started. Kobe once put in a workout from 4.15 a.m. to 11 a.m. He refused to leave the gym until he had made 800 shots. Kobe put himself through many intense practices, some even on NBA games. Kobe inspired and affected the lives of players around him. If you put in the work like Kobe did, you too can succeed. You have to make the choice every day, kids, whether you are going to put in the hard work to improve your skills and succeed. Isn't Kobe Bryant super awesome? See, discipline is important to have, and we have to practice it every single day. But kids, don't worry, because we have God to help us. Well, kids, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday because I got to get back to running. All right. Love you guys. Bye. That is so awesome about David that before he became king, how he was learning discipline from repeatedly caring for his father's sheep. So you're saying in a way that he practiced yeah, he, discipline? Yeah. He practiced discipline by doing what he was given to do repeatedly and doing it well. So if you do something over and over again, you get a lot better at it. As long as you do it right over and over and over. You're gonna get a lot better to the point where you're really good at it. Caleb, do you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. Let's do it, let's do it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> um, anyways, but rep, sure, repetition, uh, sh I guess, shoe tossing. Um, all right, kids, it's been a fantastic beginning here to virtual sports camp. It's now time for you to head over. Repetition to get better. It's now time for you to head over and check out your sports clip for the day. Ready, alley-oop! Boom!